the very bottom there. Bottom. <laughs> We're standing behind it with the o-ring facing away from us. Yep, that's right. On this side, so the o-ring's away. So you need to turn that. Or turn your tank slightly. Great. So if you have ever stayed at an island resort and looked at the people in the pool with scuba gear on and wondered what was happening, well, they weren't looking for Nemo. They were undertaking a learn to dive program that means in the one day they can go from land lovers that have barely even snorkeled in their lives to qualified resort divers who that afternoon can be out on the reef blowing bubbles. So what got you into diving? Well, I learned to dive when I was 15 years old. I've always loved the water. Um, yeah, I learned back then and, and continued on with it and ended up becoming an instructor. So what's the process to becoming an instructor? instructor? Basically you have to do open water course, what you're doing right at the moment, so the two days. Then you go on and do your advanced, your rescue dive masters and then you can do your instructors after that. So you've done all that? Yeah. Um, there is a little bit in between that as well, obviously there's a the amount of dives and a lot of experience that comes in between there too. Do you ever get sick of it? Ever, like days you come out and it's raining, the students are terrible and you're like, oh, I don't want to do this well, The students are never terrible, yeah. but um, yeah, I suppose like any job, it does have its bad days when it is raining and windy and the seas are rough, but 95% of the time it's good and if you can get something that's 95% great, yeah, you that's true. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And uh, what puts you guys apart from other dive places? Probably the biggest thing is that we do the course in two days. And I might think, well, two days, that's pretty quick. But by doing the e-learning, it certainly makes it able to do it that quickly. And having small groups with only three people, you saw today in the yeah. pool, about to head in the ocean, that with a small group, it's a lot easier to do. So you can get it done in two days. I can't believe how easy it is. Yeah, it's not hard. You know, it's designed for 12-year-olds to do. I've taught oh, a 75-year-old. You, <laughs> you know, as long as you can pass the medical, swim 200 metres, it's really not hard. It is designed for everybody to do. I was one of those people that always wanted to learn to dive, but I never got round to it. I kept putting it off thinking it was too hard or too expensive. But when I finally took the plunge and got my dive license, it really changed my life. Diving opened up a whole new world to me, one that previously seemed so alien, and in many ways, a place I was a bit fearful of. Now though, I'm able to see the incredibly diverse and beautiful underwater environments, confident in my skills and comfortable with the aquatic surrounds. Since learning to dive, I've had countless unique experiences. I've swum with sharks and giant manta rays, explored shipwrecks and seen the most spectacular coral displays. But the best part has been meeting like-minded people with a shared passion, not only for diving, but also for protecting the world's fragile marine environments. If you're anything like me and keep telling yourself that you'll learn how to dive next year, well, my advice to you is to bite the bullet, stop putting it off and contact your local dive centre. Trust me when I say you won't regret it. Once you have your paddy licence, you can dive all around the world and being a diver, opens up a whole new variety of holiday destinations you probably never considered. And with ongoing training, you can even make a living from it.